Hi, welcome to the PB&J Kitchen. I'm Amy and today we're going to be making quinoa burgers. These burgers are a great alternative to your typical beef burger. The protein is going to be coming from your cannellini beans and your quinoa. If you've never cooked with quinoa before, it's a great ingredient to use in your recipes. It's considered a whole grain, but it's also made from the seeds of a plant, so it's a good source of protein and it also has a lot of fiber. Before you get started, you're going to want to cook your quinoa. To do that, you're going to follow the package instructions. You're only going to need to cook one cup of uncooked quinoa and it's going to make about three cups once it's finished cooking. We're only going to need two cups for this recipe. This recipe is really great for your younger helpers in the kitchen. The only thing we're going to be cutting today is our garlic and everything else is just going to be smashed or mixed in. So to get started, we're going to use one cup of cannellini beans. You can mash these with either a fork or the back of a spoon. If you have a potato masher at home, this makes it really easy and it's a great step for your younger kids to help with. So we're just going to take one cup of our cannellini beans and add these into our bowl. And then I'm going to use the potato masher and we're just going to smash these down until they form a paste. And when we have the paste, it's going to, this paste is what's going to help hold our burgers together. After those are fully mashed, we're going to take our two cups of quinoa that's already cooked and we're going to add this into our bowl too. And you can cook this right before you make it. You can also use leftover quinoa from the day before and just take it out of your refrigerator. And then we're going to have our egg. Just a reminder that the egg is raw, so if your kids are helping crack the egg, they're going to want to um, wash their hands once they're finished. And we're just going to take a fork and we can just whisk this until the yolk is fully mixed in. And then we're going to add this as well. We also have a half a cup of cheddar cheese. This is reduced fat cheddar cheese. And I bought the pre-shredded bag. You can also buy a block of the cheese and shred it yourself. We also have whole wheat panko breadcrumbs. Make sure when you're getting these, you get the actual panko breadcrumbs and not regular breadcrumbs. Um, the panko helps make the outside of the burger really crispy once we go to cook it. And next we have our spices. Um, today we're just using a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and then a teaspoon of chili powder. Um, and I already have these measured out for you, so we're going to add these in. And just make sure we get all of them out. And then we are going to do our garlic. So today we just need two cloves of garlic. Um, a little trick for getting the peel off of the garlic is if you just take the back of your palm and you kind of smash it down until you hear a crack and then you can peel the outside off. And then we'll just throw this papery outside away. Okay, and so today we just need a smaller knife. Um, and when you go to cut your garlic, a little trick to get it all the same size um, when we're mincing it is to take the knife and we're gonna slice back this way, making sure that we're holding our fingers back to keep them safe. And this is a step you'd want a grown up to do instead of one of the younger kids. And then after you go all the way back, you don't wanna cut through the end because it'll fall apart. And then we're gonna do straight cuts down, not going all the way back through. After you do that, you can turn it sideways and we're just gonna pull the knife back and that's gonna make all the pieces the same size. And we want to cut them very small so we don't have any big chunks. So once we have our garlic minced and it's all added to our bowl, we're just gonna add that into the rest of our ingredients. So again, that's the two cloves of garlic. And then that's everything that we need to make our burgers. So we're just gonna take a spoon and we're gonna mix everything up really well. And again, you can have some of the younger kids in the kitchen help with this part. And we just wanna make sure that we are fully mixing it and getting all of the spices evenly mixed around. We're going to want to keep stirring these until all of the ingredients are evenly mixed throughout and the beans are broken up so there aren't any large pieces of the smashed cannellini beans. And that's going to make it easier to hold them together. After we have it all mixed, we're ready to shape our burgers. This is going to make six burgers and all you have to do is equally divide 
the ingredients into six portions. In the PB&J kitchen, we like to use a red cutting board when we have raw foods. So since we have the raw eggs today, we're gonna switch out our cutting boards. And we'll use this red one to form our burgers. So all we need to do here is take a large handful of our ingredients and just smash them together pretty tightly and that will help form the patty so they don't fall apart when we're cooking them. And then you can just kind of shape the sides so it looks like the shape of a typical burger. And then we can set them on our cutting board. Um, and you just wanna try to have equal size burgers. And again, this should make six of them. And if they fall apart, that's okay. Just kind of smush the sides in. And then you'll do this for all six of them. After we make our patties, we're just gonna mix up a simple sauce. You don't have to use this sauce that we're making today. It's a little spicy, so if you have younger kids eating these burgers, you don't have to use as much of the sriracha as the recipe calls for. So after we do this, make sure when you're finished that you do wash your hands again because there are raw eggs in here before you start making the rest of your sauce. If you'd like to make the sauce that goes along with this recipe, it's just a quarter cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of light mayonnaise, and two tablespoons of sriracha. All you have to do is mix all three things together. So we already have our measured out quarter cup of ketchup. We'll just add two tablespoons of mayonnaise and then our two tablespoons of sriracha. And then we're just gonna mix that up until it's all mixed together. And then when you add this to your burger, the serving size is just one tablespoon of this sauce. After we're finished making all six burgers, we're gonna head back to the stove top and cook them in a saute pan. Now that our burgers are all ready, we're gonna cook them on the stove on about medium heat for five minutes on each side. We're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil to our pan. And then we want to wait for the oil to get hot before we add our food. And we know it's hot enough when it starts easily moving around the pan and gets a little shimmery. So we'll let that heat up. And we're gonna take our burgers and they won't all fit in the pan and that's okay, we can do them in two batches. I'm just gonna add four of them here. And you just wanna leave them on the stove for five minutes and then we'll flip them and cook them for five more minutes. So after they've been cooking for five minutes and the bottoms are crispy, we're gonna flip them over and cook them for five more minutes. We wanna make sure that we are cooking them for the full five minutes because there is a raw egg in here. We wanna make sure that that's cooked all the way through. And then we will just let these sit and wait five more minutes. And then we're gonna add some cheese on top and let that melt and we'll be all done. After the burgers have cooked for five minutes on the other side, we're gonna add some Gruyere cheese. You don't have to use this cheese. You can use Parmesan cheese, Swiss cheese. You can use a slice of cheddar cheese, um, but it's about a tablespoon on each burger. And we're just gonna sprinkle it on top. You can buy this pre-shredded or you can buy a block of it and shred it yourself. And then after we add the cheese, we are just going to cover it for about one or two more minutes until the cheese melts, and then we'll add them to our buns. Now that our cheese is fully melted, we'll set the lid over here, and we'll grab our rolls. We're using whole wheat buns today. They have a little more fiber in them, and it'll keep our bellies full longer. So we are going to take one of our burgers, set it right here, and then we have a couple different toppings. You can use any of your favorite toppings you like to add to burgers. Today we have some mixed greens. Um, and then we also have some red onions. And you can just put a few slices on top. And then we have avocado. Another great thing about the avocado is that if you don't like the sauce that we're using, you can just smash up some of the avocado and add that instead of a sauce. And here we can just put a slice on top. And then from our sauce that we made before, 
Um, a serving size is one tablespoon. We can just add this to our burger. And then we're all set. So we really hope that you enjoy these burgers. Thanks for cooking along with us today in our kitchen.